All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Undisputed. I like recording some matches. So I thought I'd jump on for a bit. Who did I want to use? Somebody we've not used before. Who's this guy? Dalton Smith. 80. I'll pick him. Give him a try, see what he's like. I haven't played against Ray Leonard. Uh, sorry, I haven't played as Ray Leonard yet. I'll probably record a video using him soon. 80 against 83, Sean Porter. Sounds good. Let's give that one a go. Get a venue going with a crowd at least. So we're not fighting in a vacuum. Uh, it's got the, the big arena. Uh, so, because it's more fun playing on pro. And I got this wrong last time, but I'm only supposed to move this up one notch. So I added on two last time. 1.5 is what it's been recommended to play on. Uh, keep that on casual because it doesn't matter. Difficulties on pro. Let's go. Caught the highlights of that game bred fight promotions boxing uh, today. Just caught some uh, videos on YouTube. I didn't get the pay per view. But the main event was Roy Jones Jr. Uh, Roy Jones Jr. against Anthony Pettis. God, Anthony Pettis looked like a different fighter, but like bulked up to that size, Welcome he looked really WBC different. Arena, and what a night, and what a fight we expect this to I won't spoil it for you in case you haven't seen the results, Next but like, that was an amazing fight. It was decent though. It was good to watch the referee refereed the fights like I like to see. Dalton, just let them box. Smith, they didn't really hug much. I hate that when boxers just hug each other, come to the middle, throw punches, and then hug, and then the referee has to keep separating it. There was none of that in that fight, pretty much. A couple of like clinches, but that was very, very minimum. But it's a good, good crossover of boxing and MMA. Uh, there was another, quite a few MMA fighters on the card, actually. Uh, there was Jose Aldo having a rematch with Jeremy Stevens. And there was uh, Vito, Vito Belfort boxing against Jacare Souza. And I think there was another UF, uh, ex UFC star on the card, was uh, Pale Gonzalez. I can't remember who, who her opponent was, though. Her name's escaping me. It's a couple of. The fight's got me curious enough to check them out anyway. I'm always one interested in see what Aldo's doing. So I wanted to check that out. Worth a watch. Well, just to catch up on uh, Johnny, on how they performed. Exactly. So looking forward to that UFC 287 next weekend. Pahira uh, and Adesanya too. Alex Pahira, should I say. Alex Pahira and Israel Adesanya, Adesanya too. And uh, Gilbert Burns versus Jorge Masvidal, which is going to be interesting. Hiding out of the blue corner... From Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Northeast Ohio, here is a welterweight champion of the world. I think Sean Porter was actually commentating on the Game Bread, the Game Bread Fight Promotions card. You know, the one I was talking about, uh, Joy Jones, Joy Jones, Roy Jones Jr. and Anthony Pettis. I think Sean Porter was in the commentary booth. It's pretty dangerous in this game as Porter, like he's got some, uh, some powerful punches. So I have to watch myself on with the the damage modifier cranked up a bit. Just makes it more of an exciting uh, fight to watch. I feel it gets more back and forth rather than just the AI being a terminator and barely getting hurt. And also you can get hurt if you're not careful. Well, I mean that's no difference to playing on the hardest setting. To be fair, the AI can just mess you up at a moment's notice, but. This actually sometimes looks like more like a boxing match now, with both, you know, but or a bit of a back and forth boxing match, should I say? Really good buzz in the air we still have to punch each other like a million times, but as you can see there, he took some big damage there off that counter left hook. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on your face, you're sweating, and you're getting under. You're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be a hell of a fight. I have to remember to conserve my stamina because... Oh, that was a nice stiff jab there. Just conserve the stamina because I can sort of get carried away with throwing combinations. 
and before you know it my stamina's gone and the AI on this setting will do a better job of conserving its stamina rather than it does on the undisputed setting I never time those duck unders, but I never, I never tend to bother with like duck unders. Like I know they, they can be effective, but against the AI who doesn't really throw like realistic combinations. Like if you're playing against a human, like you, well, a human, if they knew like basic box and combinations, they, they, you know, they tend to start off with the jab, maybe follow up with the right straight. So, or right, if you knew, if you've seen a right straight coming, you think, oh, left hook's probably coming next, so I'll, I'll duck underneath that, you know, like. But with the AI, it just throws like, it might throw like two right straights. It might throw a right straight and a right hook. It might throw three left hooks in a row. Might th you know what I mean? It's like, it's hard to predict what the next punch is going to be from the AI. And then, you know, bob and weave accordingly. Not saying it can't be done. I just, I find it difficult to, you know, to read what shot's coming next. He just misses with that jab. And obviously, the more I tend to try ducking my head a bit more, the more I end up getting cracked. I'm going to watch that damage there. I did see that on the left side of my head. He caught with that right up. He scores with that right hand. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Hard. I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That one lands. Oh, power right off there. Launched by Porter. Misses with that jam. Nice punch. Oh, counter right straight landed then. And another one. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Hard uppercut to the body, counter uppercut. Wonder what the next update will be from Undisputed. Is it going to be anything sort of significant and game changing, or is it just going to be like a bit of housekeeping, like tidying up? You know, misspelling texts on the character select screen, or, you know, things that aren't really that important. With some of that bigger, stronger, and faster, you just you know, they did say in the, in the last round table. Well, I, you know, I feel like I, I feel like they're aware that people are starting to get bored of this now, regardless of being early access. Like, people want to play around with more things rather than just playing against the AI or doing uh, online matches. People are, re are really clambering for a career mode. Well, some people are anyway. I know there's a lot of people who don't even touch the uh, the single player portion of some games. They just want to do online shit. But then there's people who like me who do the opposite of that. They, they don't touch the online shit and they just play off like they're just a single player person. So it's like split down the middle a little bit. Oh, big power shots there. 
Oh, and a big power left hook. Right straight to the body first to set it up. First knockdown goes to Dalton Smith. <laughs> Fucking commentators there saying Porter needs a knockout without a doubt to win. It's like we're only in the fourth round. We've got fucking eight more rounds to go. He could still come back in it. Not the best commentary, is it really, in this game? Let's let's be real. It's pretty uh, pretty mediocre commentary. Oh, hard right up a cut to the body. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. Oh, they Porter's know taking some shots. It's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, nice combination there. And, this is that jab. and again, nice four punch combination. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. Quarter back. Oh, beautiful right straight left hook. Oh, look at him just walking it off. Oh, big counter left hook there. Lured me into that false sense of security. He was there waving me on. After stunning him, and I went for him, and he made me pay with three fucking spammy left hooks. Nice little combo to finish the round. Not much to write home about, was there? Just, just someone getting stunned. <laughs> One of the best oh, nice counter up cut there. My up cut failed. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. What a kick! Uh oh, Porter, oh left hook connected. Oh, beautiful right uppercut, left hook, double jab to the to the body to set that up. Oh, another hard left hook connected. Got to be careful here. Yeah, this is where he caught me last time. Right hook. Oh, stiff upper cut landed then. And that left hook connected again. Oh, beautiful. One, two to the body. Another hard left off drops him. That's it, it's over. Sean Porter knocked out with his eyes open, or unless he's just, just having a moment there, won't he? Just looking up at the ceiling. <laughs> It is a lot more fun when it's a little bit more balanced, this game. Compared to the... I mean, uh, to be honest, I just wish they'd sort out the the undisputed difficulty and get it finished. Uh, get it, like, like more realistically playing. 
I don't know. I think dropping it down to pro is a little bit too easy. It just like there's a it feels a little bit too easy now. I don't know. Like with or without the damage modifier, it just feels easy. It's more fun, like because your shots can get in, but it, and you can you can get caught, but it just feels a little bit too easy now. Get that undisputed difficulty sorted, guys. Get it fucking fixed. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.